Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's take a look at the planet Atmospheres. Now for the gas planets, an atmosphere is kind of an interesting thing because it's very difficult to find the border, so to speak, where the atmosphere ends and where the planet starts because it's a gradual transition. And so uh, diving into the atmosphere of Jupiter-Saturn and you continue on downward, eventually the density becomes so large that you no longer can be considered to be in the atmosphere, but you're now in the interior of the planet. And where that exact boundary is, is of course not a, not a exact science to figure out. Notice though that the uh, all four of the gas planets do indeed have a, a an atmosphere, and that by and large the atmosphere is fairly similar. Notice that mostly hydrogen and some helium, but in the case of Uranus and Neptune, we also find some methane in the atmosphere. And it's the methane in the atmosphere that gives those two planets their bluish color, which is lacking in Jupiter and Saturn. So we see here that for Jupiter, the percentage of hydrogen is slightly lower than the percentage of hydrogen in the atmosphere of Saturn. And so we know that Saturn probably has a smaller proportion of helium compared to hydrogen, which also may explain why Saturn is less dense as a planet compared to Jupiter, because we feel that this consistency is probably similar in the interior of Saturn as well. But notice that the relative ratio between hydrogen and helium is fairly similar to the ratio of hydrogen and helium on the Sun. Uh, it's a little bit more hydrogen, a little bit less helium on the Sun, but the consistency is fairly the same. Jupiter and Saturn are basically like a star that is predominantly hydrogen and helium. So as well for Uranus and Neptune in the atmosphere, notice that it's hydrogen about 80%, helium about 15 to 20%, a little bit more helium and less hydrogen for Neptune, a little bit more hydrogen and helium for Uranus in the atmosphere, and notice that the methane is probably a few to 3% or so of the total atmosphere of those gas planets. Now coming back to the terrestrial planets, it's a very different story. Of course, there the boundary between the atmosphere and the surface is very abrupt. If you dive down into the atmosphere and you hit the surface of the Earth, you will know that you've reached the surface of the Earth. Notice there's a very big difference in the amount of atmosphere the terrestrial planets have. If we consider the, the atmosphere on the Earth to be one, notice that Venus has 90 times the atmospheric pressure compared to the Earth, and Mars is less than 1% of the pressure, 0.6% of the pressure relative to the pressure on the Earth. So it's large differences. And when it comes to Mercury, Mercury has no atmosphere at all. We can find some gaseous particles on, near the surface of, of uh, Mercury, but that's mostly because the solar wind particles that slam into Mercury stay around the planet for just a little while before they get uh, blown off from the heat and from the uh, thermal agitation, but for by and large we can say that Mercury has no atmosphere at all. Consistency-wise, there's a lot of difference between the atmospheres of Venus, Earth, and Mars. If you compare Venus and Mars, however, you notice that both of them have very large percentages of carbon dioxide, and the second most abundant gas in the atmosphere is nitrogen for both of them. So they're very similar consistency, just very different in the atmospheric pressures. Notice that the atmospheric pressure on Venus is more than a thousand times the atmospheric pressure on Mars. Matter of fact, when you think about it, it's more like more than 10,000 times the atmospheric pressure. That's quite a bit different. Uh, notice the Earth has a very different atmosphere. It's 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, about 1% argon, and a very small amount of carbon dioxide, and of course there's some water vapor depending upon where on the Earth you are. Over desert regions there's less. Over tropical regions of the oceans you'll find more of the water vapor. But you see it's very different in consistency there. Luckily for us, a fair amount of oxygen for us to breathe, and of course we wouldn't want to live in a, an environment where it was all carbon dioxide like Venus or Mars. Life would not be possible, of course, under those circumstances. Well, there you go. There you have a Pretty good overview of the atmospheres of the eight planets. Of course, Mercury has none, and then the other seven have an interesting composition of the atmosphere. And that's what it looks like.